In a previous model, we analyzed the uh, DC biasing conditions for this circuit and found them to be uh, the gate to, gate to source voltage was 2 volts, the overdrive voltage was 1 volt, and I sub D was 0.5 milliamps. We now want to take this circuit and connect a load to it, R sub L, and we'll also, at least in this video, bypass, or at least in this first example, bypass the source resistance. And now with that in place, let's look at the small signal model and perform small signal analysis on this circuit to determine the overall gain of this circuit. From the DC bias conditions, we can calculate the transconductance parameter, G sub M, which is equal to two times the drain current divided by VOV. V O V, and for completeness, it's also equal to K sub N times V O V, which using the numbers from the previous example, we had then 2 times I sub D, which was 0.5 milliamps, divided by V O V, which is 1, gives us a transconductance of 1 milliamp per volt. For completeness, let's also show um, a signal V sig that we are wanting to amplify. We'll DC couple it here. And now with this signal and this load, let's go ahead and create the the um, small signal model. First of all, we'll notice that the input resistance seen looking into here, because the resistance seen into the gate is infinite, we have the 10 meg in parallel with the 10 meg. So let's just call that R sub G is equal to 10 in parallel with 10 is 5 mega ohms. And we're now ready to construct the small signal model. To do so, you'll recall that we bypass, or that um, we deactivate the DC quantities, which in this case are going to be turning the, the uh, this voltage source here to zero volts, which brings this volt or this uh, resistor on down into parallel with this 10k as we've already talked about, and it's also going to bring this R sub D down to uh, connect it here, and at this point here taking the ground is going to bring R sub D in parallel with R sub L. So here then is the small signal model. We're using the hybrid pi model, where we have the gate decoupled from the drain and decoupled from the source, modeling the input resistance seen looking into the gate is infinite. Because the capacitor bypasses R sub S, the source is shorted. And for purposes of, uh, for, the, for this example, I've gone ahead and shown R0, the uh, early effect resistance. Now up here we're saying that lambda equals zero, so at this point I'm assuming that R0, or that lambda isn't zero, so that R sub zero isn't infinite, just to show you where it comes into play and how it affects the analysis here. When we do the next couple of examples, when we don't bypass the capacitor, that R0 just makes the for a mess and we'll neglect it at that point. So let's go ahead and analyze this by determining V out in terms of V sig. To start with, we'll notice that the current source is flowing in this direction, and so there will be a current flowing like this due to the source, and thus there will be an inversion of the sign. And so we have then that V out is equal to the current, negative the current, G sub M times V G S, times the parallel resistance of those three quantities, or R0 in parallel with 6K in parallel with 10K. Now for the purposes of this um, this example, let's just go ahead and choose a value of R0, R0 equaling 20 kilo ohms, a relatively small value. And then we have, and we'll call it REQ, is equal to the parallel combination of those three, and it's equal to 3.16 kilo ohms. So V out then is equal to negative G sub M VGS times, we'll write it as REQ to begin with. Now for this example here, we notice that VGS is simply equal to V sig. There is no voltage division taking place here because we haven't modeled a source resistance associated with the signal. So for this case and this case only, we have then that VGS is simply equal to V sig, and we have then that V out is equal to negative G sub M 
V sig times R E Q, or that the overall gain V out over V sig where the load resistance R sub L connected, and that's grounded there, is simply equal to negative G sub M times R E Q. For our numbers here, we have G sub M is equal to 1 milliamp per volt, and R E Q is equal to 3.16. We have then that this is equal to negative 1 times 3.16, or the overall voltage gain for this circuit would be a negative 3.16 volts per volt.